Earlier this afternoon, hundreds of fans packed out this room to watch and find out who the WSU women's basketball team would be taking on in the March Madness tournament. We have learned that they are going into the tournament as a number five seed against Florida Gulf Coast for their first round in the tournament. It's going to be a matchup to watch and fans and the team alike are excited about the upcoming game. It's official. The WSU women's basketball team punched their ticket into the March Madness Tournament, and now they'll take on Florida Gulf Coast University as their first round opponent. They are just unbelievably good. Carl does a tremendous job at, at Florida Gulf Coast. It's going to be a really tough matchup. Fans in Pullman and around the world will be tuning in. Go Coast! They say they hope the team goes out on the court and does what they do best. Once they get going and uh, feel comfortable out there in that atmosphere, They'll do the great job they've done all year. This is the third year in a row the Cougs are making a March Madness appearance, but they're first as Pac-12 champions. Such a big thing, and but well, you can't really stay in that because then if you stay in that, you're not really going to be able to focus for the next thing that's coming up. Huge day for us and the program and the university, but um, great day to be a Coug. A fifth seat is amazing. The support that we've had this season is huge. The people in the gym, um, watching our games at Beasley, it's just been immense for us and we all really do feel the support and love and we're just so proud to you know, be able to represent for the entire Coug Nation. This team continues to break records and make history. Seating at number five is the highest the women's basketball team has ever seated in the March Madness tournament. The Cougs will be heading into the first round of the tournament this Saturday against Florida Gulf Coast University in Pennsylvania. From Giza Field, Janelle Finch, Crumpty News. Yeah, a whole lot of mixed emotions, but definitely all on the positive side. Um, I think we're just so excited. Being seated fifth is huge for this program. I don't think um, we didn't know what to expect coming in. Um, so getting that seed um, was amazing for us. And we're just excited to start prepping for this game and going on the road again and, you know, hopefully getting some really good wins. Yeah, and your coach mentioned it for the Gulf Coast, obviously a really good squad. What's going to be key to success to getting that first NCAA tournament? Yeah, I think, you know, I, I said it before, but every every team you play against in March is a really hard team. It doesn't matter what their seed is. It doesn't matter their past games. Everybody comes to play and show out. So for us, it's um, a lot of things mentally, you know, preparing well, getting in the gym, not taking anything for granted, um, not being complacent. And, you know, we've had a track record this year of being good on the road, which I think is a positive thing. But this is, this is survival go home, you know, so there's a lot of different things we're going to have to focus on. Uh, but I'm confident in this team that you know we will we'll have a good run. And you're very familiar obviously this probably go home in the Pac-12 tournament and the <laughs> straight games. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, look, I think the Pac-12 in itself, the conference games, it's the scheduling is brutal. You know, you're playing if not a top 25 team um, every single night. And so I think that prepares you really well. And obviously the tournament that we've had, we had to beat three ranked teams, you know, to, to get the, the ship. So um, I just think it prepares us well in terms of we played so many different styles and so many great teams. And those games, you know, they weren't blowout games. They were all really close. So you have to be really prepared in those um, last few minutes of the game, um, crucial plays where you have to make good decisions. And I think it just helps us mentally knowing that we've been there and we can do that and just gives our team a little bit more confidence. I want to know a little bit more about today, sharing this moment with fans surrounding you. Talk me through your, your feelings when you walked into the room. Oh, with hundreds of people waiting. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. I mean, I'm thinking back to the past two selection shows we've had and obviously it's nothing... Um, like today was and the first year I think it was COVID so it was literally just our team and like our staff people so coming out today and turning the corner and seeing how many people are behind us and behind our team it's amazing the support that we've had this season is huge the people in the gym um, watching our games at Beasley it's just been immense for us and we all really do feel the support and love and we're just so proud to you know be able to represent for the entire Coug Nation pretty much yeah like you just mentioned that first year, like COVID year, and I mean, just how far have you guys come with the players who have been on the team? Um, 
from that year to where you guys are now, going as a five seed in the Pac-12 finals? Yeah, we've come a long way, and you know that that's a testament to a lot of different people. Obviously, Coach E and her staff are amazing in how they develop players and um, develop a team culture as well. And then also the foundation people um, who were here before, you know, most of us even got here before all this class even. The work that they put in to kind of build this program is really showing um, out in our team right now. You know, the, the intangible stuff, the being a good teammate, um, doing what it takes to, maybe you're not getting on the court, but doing what it takes to still be there for your team and all of that stuff. Um, and that's a testament to, you know, how Coach e wanted this program to be. And um, I'm just excited that I get to be a part of the time and the history, you know, when we're celebrating a lot of different things. So um, a, lot of, a lot of change, but most of it for the better. Ton of, oh, no uh, a ton of first time accomplishments for the program, obviously. Is it a, a talk within the team? How eager is the team to check off another one, get a first, first NCAA tournament win? Has that been a conversation within the team? Um, I think, you know, we, when we look at how many different records we're breaking and all of that sort of stuff, it's not something we actually directly talk about. You know, it's kind of an afterthought. Um, you know, obviously going into the games, that's the main thing that we are focused on. But you, you obviously you can't ignore the fact that these things are happening. And I, it's definitely um, something we've been talking about in terms of NCAA tournament. I'm um, getting that first round win. That's something we've wanting wanted to do for the past couple of years so um, that's obviously known in the gym and something we're all kind of thinking about. Uh, Cammy says haven't, haven't run out of gas like maybe past teams are. Ula just said feel like the team's hitting its stride like mm -hmm. right now. Uh, how much do you, do you agree with that? Do you, do you feel like um, you know the energy is just a why, or why is the energy different this year maybe than in, in previous years going into, into the postseason? Yeah, I 100% agree with that and I think a big reason is because of the depth of our team and how many um, you know different people can impact the game and so obviously past season you have a lot of people playing a lot of minutes and it's a big workload and when you get to the postseason it's like oh my gosh how much more can I do you know how much can uh, more can I give so this year we have so many different weapons and anybody can show out in any given night so I think that's why we still got that big excitement in the gym and obviously winning the Pac-12 helps with that excitement and motivation. Um, but yeah, I would just credit it to that and how much better this team is collectively. Well, I, first off, I just want to thank our athletic department. You know, they, they put this together. They wanted to do something. I mean, they obviously asked for permission to, ask, to let the, the fans come in because it was ultimately, did we want to do that? But it was, it was like a no-brainer. Um, again, the excitement that our team feels, uh, the enthusiasm within this community. Uh, there have been some diehards that have been fans in lean years. And so if we can open this up and, and maybe get some new fans along the way, that's exactly what we want to do. I just want to make this the neatest experience ever for our players. We just found out Florida Gulf Coast is going to be taking on the first round of the tournament. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, they're really good and they just got beat. They got upset in their conference tournament. They are just unbelievably good. Carl does a tremendous job at, at Florida Gulf Coast. Uh, they have a lot of transfers in every year. He meshes them together. He's one of the best coaches in the country, so it's going to be a really tough matchup. And are you preparing anything specific going into the tournament? No, we're going to just live this and, and enjoy it. And again, I've been so impressed with our team and how they can handle success and attention and compliments and yet still walk on the floor and get better and concentrate on, on practice. So I'm going to rely on that and count on that and believe that they're going to be really serious and, and nobody's satisfied right now. We want to win. We want to win some games in the NCAA tournament. Appreciate it. It does. It does. You know, just playing so well in the Pac-12 the entire year, uh, you know, we could chalk up a lot of things that this team hadn't done before, winning at, on, at Arizona's, um, winning those Oregon teams at, on the road. Um, you know, we lost some at home, but we really had the Colorado game one. And, um, you know, so, and then playing great at USC and UCLA and split there. So it's just, a, it wasn't a, oh, we got hot at the right time. We've been pretty good all year. Uh, we didn't have our star player for four of those losses. So we have some, what do we have, 10 losses or 11 losses, I don't know which. So that's significant. And I think the committee probably recognized that we were without our star player 
for four of those, and uh, I think I think we earned a five, and that's because we we took care of business and and we're really solid in, in the entire year during our league. Well, I mean, the, it's it's not an easy place. I'm not an easy coach to play for. I mean, we really do have high standards. Uh, we have high expectations. We want to go get players who tell us they want to be great, and uh, and we want to hold them to it. So we put together a plan, and we say this is what a championship team looks like. This is what they train like. This is what they sound like. This is how you behave on and off the court. This is how you act in class classes. You got to be serious about your grades, and we've just got. We've got great players who are bought in to the process of getting better. Um, we want to do two things for our players when they come here. We want to make them into the very best basketball players they can be, and we think we can make them into the very best teammates they can be. And that requires a lot of giving and being outside yourself. And uh, those are the things that I'm really proud about with this, with this uh, program and what we've built in this culture. How much is the experience that this team has from, from last year, the last couple of years tournaments, I mean even this year's Pac-12, how much is that going to help you guys going into this one? Well I hope a lot, you know, I think our team, we've talked about it with our team, I mean this, we still kind of are carrying a, I don't know, a bag of rocks saying you've never won an NCAA game. And so our team is, is going to hear that. And you know, we talked a lot about it, yeah, but we haven't, but we're not the same team. We, we played on the road this year better than anything close to what we were the last two years. We're a completely different team. We're better built. We're deeper. Um, we have the experience factor. We have uh, players that have been in a lot of close games and managed and, 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 and found ways to win. Uh, this is a team that's really built uh, tough. And, and we're a better defensive team, and we're a tougher team, and we're a better rebounding team. And those things travel, and that's what we got to count on when we get to the NCAA tournament. And, and hopefully, we can get that 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 thing off that elephant off our back. I'm I'm curious about you talked about in, in past years. You felt like you were a little out of gas at this point. Uh, can you just talk a little bit more about why you feel like this team has more left in the tank and. And how much can you see it in just kind of the daily routine and what they go through that they still got that momentum and are kind of ready to go? Here? I mean, if you looked at our past um, rosters and how many minutes, you know, our starting five played, we, we pretty much had them on the court well over 30 minutes a game. And, and the, long, the long season, I think, just made us, um, you know, we were, and we were spotty. We'd win a game, we'd lose a game. It was, we didn't build a lot of momentum. And this year's different. I mean, I think the fact that Charlize was gone 20 days probably has made her fresher. Um, we've been better at practice and not over overdoing it at practice. Play more people, uh, can spell people on and off the court. It's just, again, it's a different feel um, in practice every single day. We've got practice guys that practice, uh, so we don't have to overwork our players. So just really feel like we're on the upswing and that we don't have to worry about momentum. We've got a lot of momentum going forward. Uh, what is your routine this week? Or what, do you know when do you take off? How do you kind of handle practice these next four days or so? Well, the hard ones have been the ones we just went through. It's just us. We just worked on us. But now we'll have a, a scout on Florida Gulf Coast tomorrow. Uh, we'll go tomorrow and Tuesday, probably take Wednesday off. And I'm assuming travel on Thursday and uh, just, you know, play it out. I'd love to, since we have to go so far, I'd love to get there on Thursday knowing we play on Saturday. But we got a, a lot of logistics that someone's going to do. And, uh, but obviously we're just thrilled to be playing um, and have a lot of respect for Florida Gulf Coast. We're going to have to do a great job at, in scouting them. Okay, it's good with Coach? Hey, go Coach. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Big congrats to you. Um, why don't you just share your thoughts on Yeah, it is a very exciting, and everyone is excited in the team and the program and everybody in the community for the for the seed we had. And um, yeah, it's a very big thing, but also we can't we can't forget that it's March, so anything can happen, and there's a lot of upsets. We just gotta go ahead. We just gotta focus on um, what the coaches are telling us and what uh, the scout says, and try to keep the momentum. Love that. Love that. What was it like?
like it kind of being a part of this big event and having so many people come out and celebrate this with you guys? Man, this was amazing. The people made us made us feel so special, and I loved every single moment of it. And um, they just can't wait to uh, create more uh, history, more uh, rec uh, set more records for so we can see a lot more people coming in here. And obviously, you guys have you know, you've been to this tournament before. How was the experience of this team, this team this year, and how does that can help you guys uh, this time around? Um, yeah, like you said, we've been at the tournament before uh, for two years and uh, three years in a row now. Um, we got we have a lot of uh, mature and experience in this team. Uh, we're just gonna rely to that and rely to uh, the coaches doing a great job at uh, coaching us and telling us what we need to do on 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 the court and also off the court. So we're just really trusting what we're doing and trusting the process. As the you know the accomplishments you've made as a team, has that really settled in yet? And winning the Pac-12 and everything like that and. and and just reflecting on how far you've come as a program, is it? <laughs> when do you think it will settle in if it hasn't? Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it has to settle in or not because it just you have so little time to like uh, let us sink in and then you gotta move on to the next one. Like you said, we've. Had, I I can't believe it's been like a week now and it just feels like yesterday. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a, 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 such a awesome and incredible thing that we did, and it's always gonna live on. So that's the best thing about it. You can always go back on YouTube and everywhere and see that what happened and the experience but um yeah it's such a big thing and but you can't really stay in that because then if you stay in that you're not really going to be able to focus for the next thing that's coming up i've been asking everyone the same question when Cammy says uh, this team hasn't run out of gas yet like maybe last year or the year before has so what what do you think is, is key in that what what is the most important thing to this team not having run out of gas yet um, yeah, uh, I think we just have a lot more depth and we have a lot more uh, players that are uh, uh, capable of making big plays and we don't just rely to one person or two or three or four. We just have a lot more people that can come in and f affect the game. Like you say, like Jessica could come in, um, AT comes in and doesn't play like a, like, like a freshman. Uh, we have Kira coming in, we have Lauren, we have Grace. We have all those players that could come in and have big minutes. So, and the depth, because like in the past two years, we've been just, oh, three years, we've been just playing like six people. But now we just really have a, a solid team that can actually, anyone could come in and give, give, give a big impact. It's hard enough to play in the Pac-12, let alone win the Pac-12. What makes this in this one so special? Well, it takes time, and uh, we've been together for a really, for a really solid time, and um, so we've just really seen what the Pac-12 ha have to offer, and and there's such a great, great teams in the Pac-12, the best conference in the nation. So um, there's that, and so you get to really get the experience of the players that you get you play against and stuff, and the players that uh, um, we, we have been been with us since. Um, a really long time since my freshman year. Ula been with me since my freshman year. So she knows she has the experience and I think the experience is really is the key in her leadership and everybody's leadership. Speaking of experience, how helpful is that for the game going into uh, the first game for the goal uh, and, and, and it's Oh, it's gonna be pretty big. It's gonna be really big. We're gonna need every single thing we need. We, we, we need to like uh, win our game and uh, be able to succeed and go to the next uh, Next, next next game is going to be pretty big. We're going to need Ula's uh, uh, leadership and, and experience in Chalice. We're going to need her in everything. And we're going to need Yo's experience, uh, Emma's experience, Grace's experience, uh, all that. We're going to need all that to be able to uh, create more records. How are you feeling about it? Yeah, I'm um, excited. You know, obviously today's a huge day for us and the program and the university, but um, great day to be a Coug. A fifth seat is amazing. Um, but no, yeah, we we will obviously enjoy today and tomorrow we'll focus in on Florida Gulf Coast. They're a great team, have a lot of success in their uh, conference and then obviously the NCAA tournament. But yeah, look forward to heading to Philadelphia um, in a couple of days. And how should the team feel about going against the in the first Yeah, I think, I mean, you might look at us on paper and we don't have any four or five star recruits like every other team in our conference, but... We're a gritty team, we love each other, we love playing for each other, we love playing for our coaches, and we're going to give it everything for 40 minutes. And talk about today, I mean, just excited from start to finish, being yeah. with the fans, just talk to me like, your feelings of being in this room, so yeah. fans, getting to watch 
Yeah. 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 No, I'm um, like, it's awesome. I mean, obviously when we were walking in, we didn't really know how many people were going to be here. And then we turned the corner and there's hundreds of people. And I think it's awesome. Um, Pullman is a unique town and a unique city. And we love obviously being Cougs, but everything that we've achieved this year, all of our success obviously is for each other, but more importantly is for the community. I'm super glad that this is the first time a women's sport has brought a championship to Pullman and I'm sure it's not going to be the last huge and I think it brings a lot of momentum, um, a lot of confidence, personal, I mean self-confidence self, uh, and then confidence in the team and it's just, it's awesome. We've gone in um, feeling good about ourselves and I think we'll be good to go when the, when the ball's tipped against Florida Gulf Coast. I mean... Auntie Shania messaged us that she was in Switzerland before the game, so obviously that was a that was a bit disappointing. But um, I know she hopefully she'll be stopping making a pit stop in Philadelphia on her way back home. But no, yeah, we we'll, we look forward to seeing her in April. Obviously, you guys have been to this tournament before, but what's just different about you guys this year yeah. um, compared to last year? Yeah, I think obviously the first time that we went, we played. Um, was the first time I think in 30 odd years that the Cougs had gone to a tournament and that was the first time that any players who were on that roster had even experienced it and so we learned a lot about that and what it's like to travel that far how, how much attention is going on on the actual tournament um, so that we learned from that and obviously lost to South Florida and then we went last year travelled a fair bit away to North Carolina and obviously we lost to a uh, Kansas State but I think every loss has prepared us in so many ways um, this going there this year we know what to expect we know what the travel is going to be like what I guess the attention will be like obviously now we're we're Pac-12 champions so that brings a bit more attention and hopefully we're well prepared to to navigate our way through that success and media attention but I mean it's great I mean we have experience and we know what to expect and we just look forward to Florida Gold Coast in a few days. When Cammy says uh, earlier teams have run out of gas at this point and this team hasn't, what, what do you think is key in that? What does she mean by that? Yeah, I think um, she just means that we had we just hit our stride. Um, obviously, our last weekend we had some success. Beat UCLA at, at UCLA for the first time in, Paul, I think, ever, right? And to win Pauley Pavilion, such a historic place, is huge for basketball, women's basketball and Cook basketball and so to get that we had a lot of confidence. Obviously we lost to to SC double overtime which we we shot ourselves in the foot in that one but um, I think we just hit our stride and we played good for a fair chunk of that game um, but no yeah obviously we've come in 4-0 four, four and in the tournament and we're just excited to be to be heading into the next tournament.